can see all of that looks pretty damn similar, but I'm looking for something which is quite minimal, like this one, for example, that could be a background for, let's say a website or something like that. Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad. And today I'm going to share with you a tiny but effective tool which basically allows you to achieve something truly awesome. And what I'm talking about is this duotone effect which is super trend and you've seen it in a lot of different photos in a lot of different banner graphics where a super simple photo is taken out of a context and a specific duotone effect is applied on top of it it's obviously inspired by pop art you wouldn't expect this type of effect to be applied to super busy photos because that would just look messy but if you take something like a uh, from persuasive design principles like facism, like, you know, a big face, which immediately attracts users attention, and it makes you focus on that specific area, then this type of effect works pretty well. You know, as a designer, you can easily make this effect in Photoshop, but there is much, much easier method to do this. And what I'm talking about is Duotone by Shape Factory. This is super simple app which basically allows you to simply search for Unsplash Photos, which is basically a free stock photo website. Uh, you should bookmark if that's something new to you, but you could search something like house and you immediately would get a lot of different photos which are dragged from Unsplash service and these shades are applied on top of that. So it's simple as that. If, for example, you need a photo of a person, you would immediately get a lot of different stock photos with people, as you can see, all of them look pretty damn good, as long as you're okay with these shades being applied to it. And so I'm just gonna pick one of the photos here, for example, maybe that one. You can zoom into it and you can see exactly what the detail is like on this one. You could also just adjust the actual duotone, as you can see, if I would want to just play with the highlights or play with a baseline, I could just immediately adjust and invert. And as you can see, I have a bluish and I have also this magenta like color which overlay this photo and if I'm happy with that I can easily just click and download we just drag and use that in my design work if I'm happy with that it's all about picking the right photo for this type of effect but also picking the right shades and just to show you another really good example for this tool you can see all of that looks pretty damn similar but I'm looking for something which is quite minimal like this one for example that could be a background for let's say a website or something like that. If you select one of the buckets for this color, for example, this one you can basically switch different colors, which are predefined for you just to see what works for you and what doesn't. And there's a lot of different sets. So for example, here you have a set of cyan and kind of like a purple violet color. You have red and a bit more crimson, yellow and brown, turquoise and a bit of grayish. And so you can kind of select predefined shades for you and see if that works or you can literally modify so for example if you know that this coral pink towards that magenta or pink side as well then it becomes a monotone photo but man maybe that's something you're after and while the default set of themes of those colors could be actually pretty nice what i like to do myself is really just to explore and define it so for example myself I'm really into this aesthetic of the kind of like a neon glow right now. So I like to pick like you see a dark photo, for example, and then try to put the highlights as let's say very light teal. I like to add a little bit just a notch of green to it, but to keep the background almost in those purples. So it could be, you know, a bit more blue, but also add a bit more warmth to it. So this probably is not too bad just from optically speaking what I can see on a screen of course I would recommend you to pair this tool with something which supports color theory maybe it's Adobe cooler or any other tool which allows you to quickly pick colors which complement or contradict each other for example myself I would still add a little bit more glow not too bad of a demo of what the outcome could be because then I can take this photo and maybe enhance it a little bit in post-production. From my own perspective, I know exactly the use case where I could use these type of photos in particular, let's say, in a prototype work and just quickly adding them. And as per usual, I would recommend you to explore if this is the tool you can actually apply somewhere in your design work. I'm sure you could find a space for it. It's always good to bookmark tools like that and keep it in your toolkit in case you actually need it. As per usual, check the tool out give a like if you like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and until next time